I was so hoping, Molly, you were going to play that Instagram video that Odell put up yesterday. He put up a compilation. It was so good. It's ridiculous. He put up a compilation video of the, his actions on the sidelines compared to Tom's. And that got me thinking, Max. Sometimes when I come out here, there's, there's a guy that hangs out. He's not here today. I don't know. I forget his name. But he's often on this set. Um, it's not Damien. It's not Donovan. I don't know. Whatever. I'll, I'll think of it in a minute. It's like three names, right? Yeah, yeah, like Michael J. Fox, something like that. Yeah, something, something like yeah. that. Yeah. And he always calls me delusional. It's usually in reference to the Dallas Cowboys. So that got me thinking. Let me look up the definition of delusional, and here it is. It's a firmly held belief despite being contradicted by reality in any rational argument. I think that might describe Odell pretty dang perfectly. Let me get this straight, Odell. You and Tom are exactly the same. The things that Odell Beckham Jr. does and Tom Brady does are exactly the same. And somehow, at the end of that, it's just a double standard. We just see these two guys in different lights. Well, you know what? It is a double standard. The standard works like this. Tom Brady has five Super Bowl trophies. Odell Beckham proposed to a kicking net. Tom Brady has four Super Bowl MVPs. Odell Beckham kicked a kicking net. Tom Brady has two league MVPs. Odell Beckham Jr. peed on an end zone cone or fake peed on an end zone cone. Odell Beckham Jr. has been ejected and kicked out of games. He is a passionate individual. That is true. Tom is a passionate individual. That is true. The comparisons end there. <laughs> the double standard exists because one guy has earned as much leeway as you can possibly imagine in the context of football, the greatest player of all time, regardless of position, and the other guy has proposed to a kicking net. That's why these aren't exactly the same. They're not exactly the same, but is there similarity? Does Odell point something out? Sure. Is the reaction different? We agree about this. The reaction's different because whatever's happening on the sidelines, in between the lines, on the field of competition, Odell Beckham Jr. has played in exactly one playoff game. Before that game, he went down to Miami. I said on this show, I looked at the camera and addressed Odell Beckham and said, okay, but now you got a ball. You better ball. And by the way, your team better win. Not only did his team not win, but he had a bad game. He dropped passes. And, and by the way, those were passes dropped that affect the moment, affected the momentum of the game, a game in which the Giants were very live early uh, and were playing very well, especially on defense. So you can't have that your only playoff appearance. You choke on that level. Have people, you know, draw the line from Miami to that, from the partying to that and your team loses, and you make Brady comparisons, who, as you said, Will, is a five-time Super Bowl champion and has a very good argument, indeed, as the greatest football player who ever lived. You can't do it, because people will focus on that. But I don't think Odell Beckham Jr. was saying, I am as great as Tom Brady. I think he is saying he'd like to be. He is a very emotional dude, and whatever he needs to do to get himself going, Get him, you know, get yourself going, Odell. He is, a, he is a transcendent talent, not a normal talent. I agree at this point that he cannot be ranked over Julio Jones or Antonio Brown because of that playoff choke. But regular season performance, especially at the same stage in his career, he's ahead of Jones or Brown or any, almost anyone who ever played in the history of this position. He is a different generational level talent. And to judge the things, how emotional he needs to be, to feel himself, to get himself going, I, I, I don't judge that. He's got to do what he's got to do. And I think he's pointing out that Brady also does that. I, I agree he's mistaken about the reaction to Brady. Maybe not entirely, but certainly along the lines of Brady's accomplished a whole lot. And by the way, he's a quarterback, the position. But in terms of showing how demonstrative they both are on the sidelines, I think he has a point. Brady's also high-strung and emotional on the sidelines. But what's the point? That so, that so is Odell, and he is criticized out of proportion.